Jazz Hockey Show on the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway, were we just talking about the Flames? Like, not even two weeks ago? Like, didn't this just happen? Like, 13 days ago, to be exact. But anyway, it should really come as no surprise. Like, there was no way this move wasn't happening. Daryl Sutter has once again been relieved of his duties as head coach in Calgary. This isn't his first rodeo, Cowboys. Let's talk about it. It's a brief little history lesson here for you. Daryl Sutter was hired a second time around by the Calgary Flames on March 4th, 2021. And this was to replace Jeff Ward, who was the interim for when the Flames decided to relieve Bill Peters of his duties, which we covered a long time ago here. So in parts of three seasons under Daryl Sutter, the Calgary Flames went 103, 63, and 28 in parts of three seasons, making the playoffs one time during this stretch, and that was last season. This season, they finished 38, 27, and 17, missing the playoffs by two points in the last week of the regular season. Now, if you combine Sutter's stats from this go-around to his first go-around, which was 2002 to 2006, that gives him a 210, 136, 43, and 15 record. The 15 being ties, because the NHL had ties once upon a time. And that also includes a Jack Adams Award being voted as Coach of the Year, which again was last season. And really a lot can change in that one season. I mean, between last season and this season, the Flames lost Johnny Gujo. They lost Kachuk, and they tried replacing it with Uyghur and Huberto and Kadri, and for whatever reason, it didn't click. I mean, to the point where it's rumored, and if rumors are to be believed, I mean, dig into it how you want. There was a borderline mutiny waiting to happen with some players saying that, you know, if he's going to be coached next season, then he might as well trade me now because I'm not going to be playing for the Flames. So, again, dig into that if you want. Rumors can be believed, but who's to say, right? <laughs> and I'm sure what makes it harder for the Flames as an organization is his multi-year contract extension was about to get kicked into effect in July. So there's probably something along the lines of couple of mil a year that they're going to have to pay out for the duration of that multi-year contract that was supposed to go into effect, which could hurt them in the long run. So to go from being that team that won the Pacific Division to miss the playoffs by two points, to had good chemistry to almost a mutiny, something had to change, right? And I mean, coming off the heels of Brad Trevelyan, did I say that right? <laughs> Announcing he wasn't going to return to his position. Which again we talked about only 13 days ago. One has to wonder what the message in Calgary is going to be once this new coach and new GM come into play. Because now Calgary has gone through the guy who puts the team together and the guy that coaches them. And again no replacement has been named as of yet. Which could bode well for the coaching staff and very bad for the players. Because if, the, if this is the move the players wanted, they have to prove they can win now. I mean, whoever is the new coach of the Calgary Flames has to hold these guys to account because going through the whole front-end staff like that, you know, now the, the accountability falls into the players, and rightfully so. It should the whole time. Now Sutter becomes the fifth coach to be relieved of his position during the 22-23 season, the fourth during the off season. So, by all accounts and by all years prior, almost a slow year compared to most how coaching vacancies have, have come up. But it'd be interesting to see who comes in. It really will be. Hopefully, it's a guy with a plan. And hopefully, it's a guy that can keep the Flames competitive. Because they should have been competitive this year. I mean, missing the playoffs in the last week, understandable, but a poor excuse. And if it's the message, if it's the guy relaying the message, hopefully they find the right fit. But we'll see where we go from here. But let me know your thoughts on Daryl Sutter being outed 
as the coach in Calgary. It's another one of my chess hockey shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you've made it to this point. And if you have, thank you very much. My algorithms, thank you. So if you are here, if you just want to say hi, if you dig what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. If you want, that red button. If you haven't pressed it yet, what's stopping you? I mean, we got a good thing going here. It'll make you feel good. And we're well on our way to 250. So let's make it happen. A social that I never use, yeah, it's in the description down below. Let's move forward. The award nominees will start coming out this week. So that'll keep me busy. Plus, there's more playoff hockey to get to in my next video. Well, or more predictions. But either way, in the meantime, in between time, look for more videos from the trap. Later.